The National 5 Graphics course teaches pupils to be able to understand how to produce a variety of media to be able to visually communicate a concept. We've got our CAD technical graphics side where a pupil learns how to use the 3D modeling package of Inventor and from producing a, a 3D model they then produce a technical graphic which helps a, a joiner or a, a manufacturer to produce that product. They also go through a, a unit of looking at desktop publishing. So they learn how to create graphic design media that could be posters, leaflets, pop-up banners, um, billboards. They learn the theory and the tools to be able to produce a high quality desktop publishing. Uh, everything down to the font style, the colour theory and how they lay out a publication communicates something and that's what we really drill down to in graphics. A lot of the course in graphics is taught through a lot of practical tasks where theory is involved. There's a lot of homework involved to ensure that the theory taught throughout the practical tasks has been communicated or understood from the pupil. So that means that it takes a lot of initiative for a pupil to then understand where they've learned a concept in one area and then to transfer that over to another area, another question that they've been given. Memory is a lot to do with graphics because you have to memorise and understand the the standard of symbols and drawings and, and lines that would be used in different situations, being able to evaluate something. So being able to look at something and understand what's been done well and what could have been improved and what theory has been put into producing that product. Higher graphics and advanced higher graphics, when it, in terms of theory, are a good step forward from the National 5 graphics in that the Inventor tools that are being taught are more complex, the theory behind the DTP are more complex, the application of what be, what's being learned is much more contextualised, where they might ask you in National 5 what kind of tool is being used in this example, and higher you have to contextualise it to an example given. When it comes to advanced higher graphics, it's very independent led, it's a lot of research, it's a lot of investigating and it's a lot of using all the knowledge that you've learned from National 5 and higher and putting it into a project which you can choose. It, as much as it's independent led, you can choose your, your avenue you want to go to. So say for advanced higher graphics, you're interested in architecture, you could go down the architecture route and use that as, a, as the main theme in your project. And that means that applying for university, you have a folio of something that you've, you've gone through that you've um, investigated and produced.